What's up and welcome to Airhead Weapons. If you like air guns, you know, crossbows, someone shooting random stuff with air guns and crossbows, this is your place to be. I also do reviews sometimes too, and obviously unboxings. Now, I know this has been unboxed a thousand times on YouTube. I just wanted to do it myself because I actually haven't seen this. What I did is I bought the Defender 50 from Snowpeak. Well, I think it might be called 300 actually some, in some places. But anyway, I bought that and then I thought I might as well get this as well to compare the two. So I actually haven't seen any unboxings of these and I just thought I'd go blind to see what it's like. But this one I think cost me about 180 quid. Um, I got it from DAI Ledger. They're, they didn't pay me or anything or give this to me. I'll just, I bought it with my own cash. So, comes nicely wrapped. From the pictures, it does look plasticky, and in real life, that is plasticky. Not gonna lie, let's feel it. It's, do you know what, it's actually fairly heavy and feels nice in the hand, fairly well balanced, so most of the weight is in your grip. I quite like that, that's nice. That's where you gas up, so if there's gas in here, I don't think there is. Shouldn't have done, because I, um, what's the word, just bought it, yeah. So there's no gas in there. That pierced the bottom by you plunging that into the base of the unit. So the CO2 cylinder faces downwards with the small end at the top. Do that up tight. Use the key, I've just seen there, to do that up tight and then bang, and that red thing then pops out there. I have seen a video on that. Um, just not any unboxings. Uh, oh, so that's how the magazine pops out. Comes with one six round magazine. Interesting. It'd be nice if that whole thing came up, but I'm assuming that is impossible that because of how the mechanism works. Also, it'd be nice if you could get a full um, metal version. I'd probably pay an extra couple hundred quid for that, and it wouldn't cost them that much to do. Plastic isn't bad quality or anything, it's just plastic, isn't it? It's just not as tactile. Rails at the top are quite nice. And the bottom. Let's pull the trigger and see what this is like. Nice and definite. I don't know what it's like to fire. That's, that's indexing quite nicely. Very nice. So yeah, this is just a first impression. I'm not gonna be reviewing this. What else do you get in the box? Key, obviously, some bubble wrap. Is that it? And on some paperwork. So, HDR50, user manual. If you wonder why it's called 50, because it takes 50 cal ball bearings like this. These are the rubber ones, rubber steel ones, these ones. And S-type, which I believe stands for smooth. But I could be wrong, because I've got other ones in 0.68 for my HDX68. And they're not smooth at all, but they just, they feel more metally, the other ones. But I mean, who cares? I'm waffling on. Manual in the box, just a manual. And what's this? This is just gonna be cautionary stuff, isn't it? Yeah. So there, an unboxing of the HDR 50, which if you didn't know, stands for Home Defense. What's the R mean? Home Defence Revolver. Ah, okay. So there we go. First impressions, like it. Be nice if it was metal. Um, I think this is the 11 joule version. I might get the 7.5 one as well so we can do comparisons between the two. But it doesn't actually say anywhere on this box which version I got. Let me check. It's definitely not there, is it? No, it's definitely not there. All there, all there. Let's see the sides. Let's pull it there. The 11 jeweled version. That's the back of the box. So yeah, if anyone wants to see the two, the 7.5 performance, you know, against let's say ballistics gel, which I like to do on this channel, then comment below. Just comment anything below, it helps. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Again, that all helps. And yeah. Just a quick opening there. All right, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.